Let's go and see what we could make with this beautiful purple jade stone. It has a flat surface on one side and a domed surface at the other side. And to make a beautiful wire wrapped pendant, of course, we need wire. I'm using 20 gauge steel wire, but you could use copper or brass too. And the thinner wire is about 28 gauge. Round nose pliers, chain nose pliers, Wire cutter or flush cutter also are the tools needed. Pick up a paper tape and wrap it all around the stone. And this is because we are going to size the wire that we are going to cut. I'm just going to wrap the wire all around this stone and make a heart shape at the top. So. I just do the same with this paper tape and make a heart shape at this point and then unwrap it. This is the length I need for this part. I'm going to make something like this but not exactly the same of course. This is the main wire that is going to be wrapped at the top and this is the second one. And of course, the bale behind. The measurements we had done is just for the bigger heart shape. So I put the wire on the paper tape and then cut it out with a flush cutter or a wire cutter. And for the second row, I'm going to cut the wire a little smaller. And for the third row, even smaller than the previous one and you could do some changes in this step and even you could cut the wires at the same size of the longest one before shaping or doing anything don't forget to make all these wires straight you could do that with a chain nose pliers or a nylon mallet. So these are the wires I'm going to attach at the midpoint. So I put them next to each other and with 28 gauge wire and of course the thinner wire I wrap all these three wires together and squeeze it for the first knot and continue that for the second and go on. Just pay attention to squeeze and fasten every wrapping part that you make to be sure that this is a firm joint here. After squeezing and making every tie a little tight, just make all of them close to each other with chain nose pliers and repeat making this wrapping part for about one centimeter. And of course that depends on the size of the stone that you are making this wire frame to. And at the end, don't forget to squeeze the ending points at both sides, just like this. And this is recommended to put both at one side. I mean, if the ending point at the right is here, just put the other in front of that. To be at the same level. So this is a joint and we had attached those three wires together and then we put it next to the stone and wrap it all around and shape it just like the form of the stone we have. And now this is going to be an oval shape. 
where the wires meet each other, I'm going to make a bend with chain nose pliers and you could even mark it with a marker or just make a bend. But before, make sure that these three wires won't be overlapped onto each other and to be placed just next to each other. Then I bend these wires at the other side too. This is the place where they meet each other. You know that steel wire is a little tough, so it's better to use copper or brass at first, or even using silver is much easier. We are going to make another wire wrapping part at this point, but before, just make sure that all these three wires not overlapped, and then pick up the thinner wire and just wrap it all around. To make an attachment at the top of this wire frame, and at the end, just pass the wire inside and make another wire wrapping part. Squeeze it after wrapping two or three times. Then cut the wire out at the very end and squeeze it and press it down with chain nose pliers so that there wouldn't be any sharp edges left. Cut it out at the other side and do the same. And now this is the time to separate one of these three rows of wires. To make a bend, I'm doing it with chain nose pliers, of course. Just in front of the first one, make another bend. This is the place that prevents the stone from falling down backward. So I'm trying to make it symmetrical and then put the stone in. Just push it and place it beside this wire frame and this is the back part. One wire is going to be put at the middle of the stone and the other one is a little upward. Then this wire frame would protect this stone from falling down in all directions. Now we have two wire strands that are longer to that is going to be the bale and two little ones that could be shaped or just cut out. Just let me shape the first part so that I could decide better about those two. Okay, I bend these two wires in front. This could be a hard shape a beautiful one of course and here I should decide to cut the wire out and make a little loop or just to connect the strands to the wire frame if I cut it out it would be something like this but I think it would be better to keep it and continue that till it gets to the wire frame and then attach it there now let me make it straight a little and then wrap it all around the mid wire with round nose pliers I'm doing it and make a very little loop at this part and I'm going to squeeze it to be attached well. To do that better, 
I'm using chain nose pliers and repeat the same at the other side. And this is how we connect the heart shape to the wire frame. And you could even do that and connect it with the backer wire. These two wires, one is shorter and one is longer. It could have been another heart shape at the central part, but the wires are not the same, so I have to cut it out and just wrap it in front and do the same for the other wire strand. If you would like to make another heart, you could cut the wire a little bigger at first. And now this is going to be the bale which you could make wire weaving parts in this area or remain it just the same. Make a gentle bend and then attach these two little wires to the wire frame. So I make a circular shape with round nose pliers, insert it in, and then continue making a very little loop here to attach it to the wire frame and do the same at the other side. Then don't forget to squeeze it with chain nose pliers. Now this wire wrapped pendant is ready. I hope you could make one and enjoy it so much. It's so easy but beautiful or even it could be a valuable gift for the Valentine's Day or for anyone that you love. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.